So after we finish outlining the leaf, and just a little heads up, um, I have notes in it, but if you are a virtual student and you don't have access to printing this uh, picture out, just go outside, find a big enough piece of, uh, or big enough leaf to fill up most of the paper, trace it, and then just make sure that you make the stem thicker than it actually is, just like we did here, All right? So that is um, a reminder for step one. What we did is outline. Now what we need to do is learn a little bit about scissors. So we are cutting those out. So just a little reminder, thumb, okay, that goes into the circle or the smaller hole. And then whatever fingers feel comfortable going into the other, I always like to have this random tail because um, as you can see, my fingers don't all fit um, in the larger hole here, okay? My thumb always stays on top as I open and close the scissors. And then another thing that's important is not only does your thumb always stay on top and you are opening and closing, you also need to remember that your other hand, your thumb is on top, your other um, fingers are below. And this is the hand that turns and moves the paper, okay? You always wanna be cutting away from your body. You never wanna be cutting across like this or turn your thumb so that it's down, right? So we always just kind of work um, with our scissors pointed away and our thumb on top and then this hand doing the cutting. So as I cut this out, um, you can watch my hands, how it works. Again, I wouldn't work at the same time that I am showing you this. I would just watch. Um, and I'm probably not going to talk, which is surprising, right? Um, or I'll try not to, and I'll just um, quietly cut. So um, as I do that, you can just watch. So that lasted about 10 seconds. Um, you'll notice I'm cutting the stem out first. Um, sometimes I like to do it first because it's the weakest piece and I have the most paper right now to hold on to. Um, so getting that cut first just kind of makes things a little easier. And I also wanna kind of show you a trick. So what I'm gonna do next, I've cut all the way down, right? I'm gonna come in here. And now because my leaf has a lot of points, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut from point to point. So I'm cutting from this point all the way to this point. And I'm just gonna go point to point and I'll explain why in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna recycle this. Now, why did I do that? Well, I watch a lot of us cut and we end up going down into like a V shape. And then some of us end up like breaking off pieces because we turn and you can see how that's pushing the uh, top part of the leaf and bending the paper. And so sometimes we can tear the paper by doing that. So what I like is if it's a V shape I can cut down in here, take my scissors out, turn my leaf or my paper, and now go to the other point, the other side, and now I can cut down into that. Okay. I'm gonna go back and cut a little bit more until it falls out, okay? Now, some of these are not Vs, so some of these we can just kind of cut, but instead of turning this, because I don't wanna rip anything, now I can come out and just cut this little piece. And again, don't pull on these and tear them out. Um, I just have to cut a little bit more. And you'll notice I use the tip of my scissors a lot. Um, I don't wanna do this to cut that little piece because if I slip, I'm gonna now cut all the way to the top part of here. And so I just use the tip. Okay. And then I would just continue going 
point to point. And you want these edges to be nice and smooth because this is going to be a tracer. So let's see how long I can stay quiet and just cut. This one I'm able to do the whole thing without bending any paper. The maple leaf is definitely one of the uh, harder leaves just because it's a lot of points, a lot of ins and outs. And so what we're trying to do is cut on that black line. We're trying to um, get rid of the white. So if I do this, we can see that I left a piece of white up here. Okay, So that's what we want to come back and try to make sure we cut off. And if you used a pen um, to trace because you didn't have a permanent marker, uh, that's you're working with a lot thinner lines, so you don't have to be super picky. All right, a couple more to do. And the last one. Clean up my mess. So now we have our leaf cut out. We have nice points still. We have the only white on here is my stem because I had to make it thicker. Um, and we're all ready for step three now.